Hi guys, so we're going to do a project today where we're working with negative and positive space. And negative space, positive space, you know, you know, if an object takes up space, you know, this is the space of the index card. Negative space is the space that is around the object that you don't really think about. You have the object, but then there's this other part of your work, right? That that's space too, right? So in art, we talk about sort of negative space. We're going to do a project today with tessellations where we're going to be using space um, and have the positive space of one thing kind of bleed into the negative space um, or the negative space around an object actually turns into the positive space of the next object. Right now you're like, what is she talking about? Let's do some exploring with space. Okay, so I'm going to start with an index card. And I'm going to be doing work on two of the sides, right? You don't need to color yours. I'm just showing you. I'm going to do one length, and I'm going to do one of the width, okay? And I'm going to start by drawing. You want to cut something out here, that's, but it it's, can't be too complicated. I'm also not going to cut off the corner because it's helpful to have the corner when you're lining things up. So I'm going to start maybe maybe right about here. And let's say I do that. Okay. And then, let's see, on this one, I didn't leave myself a lot of room here. Uh, I'm going to do something different here. Let's see, I'm going to leave the corner again. And I'm going to, let's do it the opposite way. Let's go like that. All right, I'm going to try to cut this out to the best that I can. Let's do one at a time, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to take this big one here. And basically what I'm doing here is creating some cool negative space, right? So here's the negative space around my index card. Kind of interesting, huh? Well, what I'm going to do with that negative space that I just cut out is now I'm going to actually just take it, don't flip it, don't anything else, just take it and now slide it out to the top. Ooh, I'm going to take my handy dandy tape. Now I find it's easier because I was trying to tape before and it didn't really work so well. It's easier if you tape, put the tape on the cutout piece, I think. I'm going to do that. So I started like that. I'm just going to slide it up and match up my corner again. You want to have it really precise. Okay, and so I'm going to go like that. Ooh, that's kind of interesting, right? I'm going to do the same thing over here with this side now. So let's take my scissors again. That's going to be very weird. Let's see what we get. I didn't quite make it on the line there. That's okay. Okay, so here's my negative space I just cut out. I'm going to actually now turn it into positive space and slide it over here, matching up my corner again. So it's going to look like that. Let me get some tape again. Do I have it going the right way? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So this is this corner right here. Now you're going to see that this ends up being important because we're going to tessellate this design that we've made and get 
it to fill up a paper. Let me show you what I mean. I'm trying to get it lined up right. That looks pretty good. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. All right. So my next step now is to see what I can make with this cool shape that I made. So I'm going to get it and I'm going to lay it onto a blank piece of paper. And I'm going to trace it. Now the bigger the paper, you know, the better because you get more tessellations in there. I only had a, this is just a piece of computer paper. So it's not quite as impressive as when you have a, you know, a larger piece. But, you know, strange times, we use what we have, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trace it. And so I'm tracing this shape. You can do it with um, pencil if you want first. I'm just doing it right with black, but you can see I just made a little mistake. That's okay. I had limited tools at home. I think this actually would look best with pens or with colored pencils, but I didn't really have those. I had crayons. So I'll show you my tessellation in a minute that I made. You use what you got, but I think if you do it with pencil first and then you go over it with black and you get a nice line, it's even better. Okay, so there we have a cool shape, right? Okay, so here's my cool shape. Here's the space that it takes up. But what I'm going to do with all this negative space around it is I'm actually going to turn it into another one of the positive spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tessellate it. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it back down. And oh my gosh, it fits perfectly. Check that out. I'm just going to do the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill the page with these tessellations. Now, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'll give you a sense. I like this little tail thing coming down. I'm already thinking in my head, like, what could I turn that into? I'm thinking maybe a popping balloon, maybe an elephant. It kind of looks like an elephant trunk. Because when you're all done, you get to figure out what your shape is. All right, so there's my next tessellation. And you can see, right, how the space around here, this negative space,